What's going on guys? Welcome to another Nerdgasm review. Today we're going to be talking about something that I personally love, how fast is Savitar? We all know that Barry is always outclassed by the newest speedster in the show, and whether it be limitations he places on himself or being outclassed, Barry is left in the dust for most of the season until he gets about 15 pep talks and a family dinner with the speed force, and right now, Savitar is stupid fast. The first time that we don't see him, he was killing Edward Claris, aka the rival. And even though he was invisible to the cameras, he was seen by Claris and it just looked like he was levitated and slammed all around the cell. Now we have his running, which is something that we've never seen. He actually seems to instantly teleport all over the place. Sisko had trouble finding out where Barry was because Savitar kept jumping all over the city. When he finally stopped, Barry still couldn't move fast enough to land a hit on him. Barry says that even with his speed, Savitar was just blinking in and out. Now Savitar may be so fast that he's learned to move through the speed force when he runs, giving him the illusion of being so fast, it's like he's teleporting. He may also have adopted traits of the comic book's second reverse flash, Hunter Zolomon. Hunter was a speedster, but he moved through time. He was able to alter time relative to himself as opposed to using the speed force. And we all know they didn't use this power for Zoom last season, so maybe they're using it now. Savitar may be speeding up and slowing down time when he wants to run, and the blue tunnel we always see may be when he's jumping through time to look like he has super speed. We also know that Future Barry traps Savitar somewhere, and he can only come out when the Philosopher's Stone is out. This may add to the whole time manipulation thing. When the stone is out, he can run around unhindered, but he's not really free. This may be why his speed is related to time manipulation, because he's still trapped wherever Future Barry trapped him. Savitar may not even be faster than Barry, it may just be a consequence of his imprisonment. With the comic book iteration of Hunter Zolomon, others couldn't even see him unless they had enough speed to attempt to perceive him. Wally West had to absorb the speed from all the other speedsters, just to have a fighting chance and it still wasn't enough. This was because he was shifted out of time and could alter his personal timeline however he wanted. So again, I'm saying that Savitar may just be out of sync and using time as a speed boost to make himself faster. If it does turn out that Savitar is actually faster than Barry because he's the first man to receive speed, then it would just be an experience thing. Savitar clearly has had an insane amount of time to master his speed and learn techniques many speedsters would probably never even think of. Even in the comic books, he learned that his speed was more than just speed. He knew how to instantly heal and use the kinetic energy of objects to make them weapons and manipulate the electric magnetic frequency of objects to basically stop them in midair. Savitar in terms of raw speed is exceptionally faster in the comic books than the other flashes. And if he's manipulating time in the show like we've seen many times before in the comic books, then Team Flash is going to need some serious speed systems to beat Savitar. With all of the new speedsters introduced, it's not crazy to believe they may go for the whole lend bury their speed to catch Savitar tactic that Wally used before the new 52 reset. Regardless, they are definitely deep in it right now, especially with the death of Iris coming up soon. Let me know what you guys think about this whole how fast is Savitar debate in the comment section below. And hit the like button if you enjoyed the brief history on some of my favorite speedsters. If you're new, then consider sticking around and hitting the subscribe button. We have a bunch of more informative videos coming up. Thank you guys for watching because I love making these videos for you guys and I hope to see you guys in the next video. I'll see you guys later.